I'll spare you um, the bulk of the backstory. But in May of 2010, I became convinced that the learning environment needed to be gamified to increase student engagement and motivation. After a long journey and a lot of help from a lot of my students, but these two in particular, last year Vincent was a sophomore and Samara was a junior, and these two guys have been instrumental in creating this environment. Now this is WordPress, and if you've never used WordPress, it's not hard to use. Now we have all of this tied to um, a theme that this is a commercial theme this cost money um, because I wanted some bells and whistles involved we will be once we get all the bugs worked out we will be recoding and creating uh, a responsive theme that can be used without any money out of the pocket these plugins are all either readily available or create a custom. You know, the, these two guys are writing custom plugins and creating custom templates. And let's just say none of this happens without those two kids doing all this extraordinary work. Now let's get straight to it. You want to know what this is about and what I'm trying to share with you. Uh, in WordPress, you give things a title. This is the second time I've tried to do this, and let's hope I can get through this without making too many mistakes. This is typically where you put the content, what's going in the page or the post. In this case, this is a page. But in this quest page theme or template, um, we have something called currency options down here where you enter a short description of the quest, and then there's XP you can set levels of XP for students encountering, accepting, completing, mastering, or and, and after, along with mastery, they get gold because the idea is we want students to master uh, the material. That's, that's the name of the game for us. Okay, so you can link to uh, material for students to read, things for them to watch, whatever you want them to learn, and then establish what it is that you want for um, students to demonstrate mastery, but the research just points to, this is unequivocal. If we need to find a way to give students a level of autonomy, to give them room to use their own voice to show that they understand the material, um, how you want them to master it, that is completely up to you. All of this is completely up to you, how you use it. This is just a framework that we want to share with the world. Um, we're working out the bugs right now. Um, <laughs> if you're brave and crazy, uh, you're free to use this. I will tell you on Tuesday, the first day of school, this crashed over and over and over. The district, we're working tight with the IT department. They threw an extra processor on the server. Um, we did peg it a couple times yesterday, but we stayed at about 40%, they said. For most of the day, we had over 10,000 page views. Students are logged in. I don't know if you've noticed, there's a progress bar at the top of this page. Hey, look, I'm on level 8. This is how many XP I have on my journey to level 9. How many minutes in gold? And I don't have time to explain the minutia of all this, but... Uh, this is incredible and the kids and we're just eating it up and then there's the ability to add or subtract manually XP and gold and I know right away everyone's wondering what about accountability how do you know they're not cheating it's built in this is so cool so once this has been um, I don't know if I need to update this page we'll go ahead and update it so everything works right I don't want to make this video a third time um, we're ready to roll. So the idea of getting XP for encountering a quest, well, all my materials on the web, I know from looking at the statistics that not all students are clicking the links to getting to, to get to the material. Um, there's a lot of self-paced learning in my room. I, I really believe in that. The idea that we're all going to learn lockstep, I think, is a real mistake. Um, so it's especially difficult for me to keep track this provides the accountability. So let's head out to the page and you'll see what happens. So this will simulate 
um, a student clicking a link on a blog post which tells them, hey, here's what I want you to do today. So when they click that link, they automatically get XP for encountering the quest. That means, okay, good, you're clicking the link. Then there's the short description of the quest. Remember our content? We had everything we wanted the students to do. None of that is showing up. They have to accept the quest. Later on, there's going to be all kinds of optional quests. It's going to be, hey, learn how to use the pen tool. And some kids are going to say, I, I don't want to touch that thing. I want to be, you know, give the students some autonomy down the road. So this provides that option. When they accept the quest, there's going to be additional XP coming in. The progress bar is moving, by the way. Um, and then they get the long description. And then they go through and... Um, do what it is, well, the concept is they will um, follow the instructions and learn what they need to learn and then at some point they can complete this button. It says complete quest. When they do that, they have get additional XP and um, they have the option. Now mastery is an option, but mastery is also the only way to earn gold. And we're going to be using gold in here to buy the right to load music onto your computer or restroom passes or, or whatever. There's selling resources. There's also a template that works just like this one to buy something. And there's a little button that says, you know, I want to buy it. It costs 10 gold. You click the button. If you don't have the gold, you get a notification that, sorry, you don't have enough to pay the bill. Um, otherwise, it opens up and then you get links to whatever it is. Um, you, you're buying. This is just brilliant. And I'm not patting my back. These are the kids who came through. Every time I have a wish, they grant it. It's amazing. So that when mastery is clicked, let me turn this up, and I won't talk over it like I did last time. When they click mastery, <laughs> we get the ka -ching there. Um, and life is good. So now, the accountability part. Let's go to the stats page. And on this page is every quest the students have either encountered, accepted, completed, or mastered. Each one of these has a date and time stamp. And there are also links directly back to the quests. There's all these other um, tabs here, and they, you know, this is growing. We can have um, other functionality built in. Uh, this is where we are right now. So daily points, they get XP for logging in each day. And actually I've changed the, the time between their ability to earn extra XP to every four hours. So if they do go home and check the blog and work at home, they also get um, that XP. We've got a record of when they lo logged in. A component that's not loaded right now is a clipboard, which um, allows me to add the classes or to add all students, but I can sort by class, by XP. The whole thing is customizable. It's a thing of beauty. We, and notice that the progress bar has moved. We've moved up 40 XP on our road to level nine. I am so thrilled about this. These kids have done, they've, they've brought us to the Holy Grail. This, right now, you can have all the components. I wouldn't recommend just putting this up and diving in unless you're very brave and have a real strong IT department that'll stand behind you because we need to fine tune the code to make sure we're not making too many database queries and um, overloading the server like we did on Tuesday. But I told you, over 10,000 page views yesterday and everything hummed along. Kids were completely plugged in. This was probably the most exciting day I've ever had in the classroom. And all I see ahead of me is uncharted territory where students are inspired, engaged, empowered. It's self-paced learning. It's 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 a dream come true for me. I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, let me know if you're interested in either you know, using or contributing to 
this. We, I want to make this all open source, all free to anyone who wants it. Uh, as I told you, this is tied right now to a, a theme that is commercial. It costs $97. It's completely responsive. It's so slick and sweet. And yeah, I paid for it with my credit card. But we will be um, making it's it's not something you can just put into another theme there's all kinds of custom elements that have to be hardwired into a particular theme that then is customizable all right thanks so much and um, game on <laughs>